Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to take all this stuff off his legs now. <coughs> and uh, we got him where he's kind of standing around this other horse now. He's not acting aggressive on it. He's just on the loose. He's not acting aggressive now. Um, not acting nice, but he's not acting aggressive. So we're going to pick up this gear. Get it out of the way. Where'd that buggy whip go? All right. So now I'm going to get my buggy whip over here. And what I'm going to be looking for now, he's free to, free to move around. So I'm going to use the whip not to beat him or hurt him or anything like that, but I can get him to move out away from my horse and get to a good canter. I'm going to start. <coughs> following him at this at this thing here I ha he, he may still have enough in him that he wants to kick at my horse when I'm behind him but probably not um, it's possible I'd say less than 50% he's going to kick at this horse until I pass him and get back and interfere with his face again and then I think he's going to not like it and posture up at that time I'm going to be extra ready to pop his ankles and pop his legs with a whip and let him know immediately, hopefully even before he kicks, that that's a bad idea and to move out. So that's our, that's our plan. I didn't want him to kick me. If he kicked at me and I popped it and then it, it got wrapped around his ankle and he pulled it out of my hand, well, I didn't want him to feel rewarded and stay off of him. So what I did was I stayed hooked with him and kept chasing him with my horse until uh, <coughs> I get him back around and get the wheel. So again, I'm going to stay after him here.
chill out a minute and let me come over to buy it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is if he's, if he's start down here, if he slows down, I'm going to start trying to get his eyes. Get up here in the face a little more, cut, cut the corner. Ha, <laughs> So now, what I'm doing is, is that he's been chased, he's been turned, he's had the whip on his back ankles when he got wrong, but when he got right and he got still, we're going to shut him down and take a break. Now check this out. This is a key part. It doesn't seem like it makes sense. Like I'm going to get myself uninvolved. So what I want to do, he doesn't kick at me. He doesn't kick at people. He loves people. So now... I want him to associate standing still and being nice with the other horse versus kicking the other horse. Takes all the pressure off of him. Now he doesn't have any whip around him. He doesn't have any pressure. He's not being chased of it. And he can just stand there and he can chill out. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna shut the camera off, but this is gonna be the next phase of what we're doing. Is uh now now he's been moved around and pushed around by this horse. And now if he wants to stand still and let this horse be here and be non-aggressive. And then he can take a break. And this is going to totally change his outlook on horses being up, 
beside him because now a horse is beside him is a good thing and not, I, I don't want you in my space, you're jacking me, dude, I'm going to whip your ass. It's, oh, you're, you're here beside me so we can relax and chill out and be buddies. And so we're going to create that situation for him to where, see, look at, now you see how he's leaning his neck on that horse instead of being aggressive? In a, in a wild setting, in a pasture setting, horses putting their heads on their necks and doing the stuff they're doing now, that's how they work it out. So now that's an acceptable uh, of way of doing it. Putting, putting, their, putting their heads on there, much better than freaking kicking and doing so. That's what we're, that's what we're looking for right here, is a, um, <coughs> just a, a gentleman, gentleman way to kind of do the posturing versus just being a jerk and kicking and everything. So. The thing is, is once he gets done this and, and accepts this and understands this deal, it'll probably take me two or three different horses and then he, you know, it's not like you got to introduce him to every freaking horse from now on on the trail, which is impossible. He's just going to learn it's not accepted behavior, it's punishable behavior, kicking's bad, you're going to get an episode about it, and um, you'll be able to ride him. Probably take me two or three days of, of making these videos and I'll be able to ride him everywhere, kids will be able to ride him. And he won't be kicking that stuff anymore. So that's that's the plan, and we're going to keep this series going until you see from the beginning to the result. This is right here. Is a, some of those steps you can skip or not skip. This is one of them that you can't skip. This is this is the where you change his mind on what's acceptable behavior and what's accepted behavior. This is a key part of it. Okay. All right. So let's stop it here. All right. All right.